What do you do when you're fortunate enough to live in a country with so much beauty? Everywhere you look is a sight to behold. From the people, to the waters, the mountains. Open your eyes. Sister, my hair. My Pack your bags. Take a deep breath. I wanna go and just go. Ever since I started vlogging, I've had the dream to travel the entire Philippines. Starting of course with Mindanao. Although I was born and raised in Davao City, there are still lots of places in Mindanao that I have yet to visit. One of them is Caraga region, most specifically Surigao del Sur. Surigao del Sur is a province that is known for its majestic water forms, from beautiful white sand beaches, mystical rivers, grand waterfalls, underwater sceneries, and many more. Surigao del Sur is actually a 6-hour drive from Davao City, and our first stop in this trip is Bislake City. Okay, so we decided to have our breakfast at a place called Hills View. So we are now here at Trento, the municipality of Trento here at Agusan del Sur. And, and yeah, we're gonna have our breakfast, and then after this, we're gonna hit the road again. Okay, so we're done eating breakfast here at Hills View here at Trento. It's a little bit gloomy. Um, I heard there was an ITCZ going on in Mindanao, but uh, it's all right. We're gonna be okay. And then we're gonna go back to the car now. Let's go. So we are now here in Singapore from Davao Oriental to Agusan del Sur. We were in Trento to have our breakfast. Now we have arrived in Singapore. So here at Trento they have a barangay called Singapore and they have this uh, picture taking spot where there is I love Singapore. So if you want to come to Trento make sure to stop by this and fool your friends and tell them that you're in Singapore. Which you are but just not the country Singapore. And they actually have a school here called Singapore Integrated School. So this is actually not a joke. This is real. This barangay is really called Singapore. Now, uh, now we're gonna go back to the car once again and continue our way. Say goodbye to Singapore. Before entering Bislig City, expect to see a checkpoint. The requirements to enter Bislig City or any part of the Philippines are almost always changing. So be sure to check with local authorities beforehand. We have now arrived at our first destination here at Bislig, and right behind me is the famous Tinoyan Falls. So Tinoyan Falls is actually known to be the widest waterfalls in the country so as you can see it really is wide and it's also dubbed as Niagara Falls of the Philippines because of how wide it is the water is a bit uh, brownish and murky or whatever you call that because it rained earlier so that's why it's not as clear as it is supposed to be 
but nevertheless it's beautiful it's always beautiful waterfalls are always beautiful and this one right here is no exception as you can see For me, waterfalls are extremely magnificent. The way the water comes rushing and raging past the rocks, its beauty seems to make time stop. It's not a sight that is often seen. Unlike beaches or mountains, waterfalls are hidden. It's nature's very own hidden treasure, surrounded by thick greenery. And lucky are the ones fortunate enough to witness its beauty. To add to its pull, waterfalls make me nostalgic too. Just thinking about the past and imagining what this majestic water form looked like in ancient times before humans had access to it astounds me even more. So apparently there are other floors in this fall. There's another one right over there and uh, luckily there are stairs. So we're gonna climb the stairs and we're gonna check out what it looks like from above. this you always have to remember to be respectful not just to the people but to the na to nature because in the Philippines you have a belief that there are spirits everywhere so you always have to say tabi tabi po or tabi apo I didn't know that they have this here it's awesome my mom is scared of heights <laughs> the hills by the lake you were chasing your dream And I gave you a rose that you kept on seeing Kept on right above this one big cascade right over here and you know what guys he also has a youtube channel yes your youtube, what's YouTube your channel is eboy tips tv eboy tips tv so go check out his youtube channel he's been really nice he actually guided us to the other waterfalls and we didn't even know there were other waterfalls so uh thank you so much eboy Yes, if you go to the Noyan Falls, you might see Eboy right here and just tell him to guide you to the other waterfall. Thank you so much! On the road leading to the Noyan Falls, you'll see these awesome souvenirs that mostly consist of wood crafts. When you visit Suriga del Sur, you will certainly see a lot of woodcrafts that are made of the hardest wood in the Philippines called magkuno, or the Philippine iron wood that is endemic and can only be found in certain places in the Philippines. As you all know, every time I go somewhere, I always uh, make it a point to buy an anklet for the remembrance, because I love anklets.
We decided to spend our night in Bislig City and recover our energy before we hit the road again the next day. Luckily, we found Travelers Inn and it fit right into our budget and their rooms are really functional and very clean. We spent the night here and the next day, we continued our trip into the Gao del Sur. Next up in my vlog, I'm gonna take you on another adventure. Did you know that there is a little Maldives in Surigao del Sur? We'll be exploring this amazing sand beach and I will also show you what a Filipino-style birthday party is like. See you!